guys, it's Velocity Reaper here, and we are back again, and today we're going to be doing a drum gun guide. This gun has been in the game since V4.5, or July 6th, and we are now on V5.10, so it's been quite a while, about two-ish weeks since this gun has been in the game, and it's a very difficult weapon to use, so I want to answer three questions in this video. Number one, how does it fit into the current meta? Number two, what is its effective range, and when should you be using it? And number three, is it something that you should be picking up and where would you want it to sit in your setup? So without further ado guys, let's get right into the drum gun guide. So with the assistance of my friend Keyblade, we were able to go ahead and hop into playgrounds to give a couple different tests. So here we are about 50 meters away from each other. And the drum gun is very effective at close to medium range. However, 50 meters is way too far, as you guys will see in just a second here, how many bullets will actually hit with this kind of range. Now clearly, that is obviously not effective range. You want to be a lot closer, so I'm gonna move in a whole bunch here to kind of show you guys the actual effective range of it. The difference between this assault rifle compared to other assault rifles is that it does not have first shot accuracy. So you are very much banking on Bloom working in your favor when you come into contact with another player. So the time to kill when it's much closer, as you guys can see, is a lot faster. And that is the power of the drum gun is that its fire rate is a lot better than most assault rifles so therefore you have that benefit however minus the first shot accuracy you don't get the opportunity to make sure every single shot is hit or be able to kind of single fire it to get that extra bit of accuracy for your shots so this gun one is very very different than most guns like i said it kind of seems like it would fit into the submachine gun category however it does not so the next little test that we're going to do here is against building. So I'm all set up here and we're going to have Keyblade come at us as if he were a normal player. And as you guys are going to see here, what I'm going to do in this situation as he's building towards me is I'm going to try and shoot out his build as much as I possibly can and as he tries to advance. So there we are, we're able to shoot out one ramp and then he's going to start to continue to push forward at us and you're going to see how effective slash ineffective it can be. So again, we are able to move him back a little bit and hesitate his build, however he's still able to build closer and closer to us. Now, we're not going to encounter too many players who are going to build like Keyblade does. Keyblade is an excellent builder. And you're going to run into a lot of players who don't really know how to build. So this weapon is going to be able to really shred those builds that they have and end up kind of working in your advantage in terms of getting them into a position where they don't know what to do and you're able to spray them down with that extra little bit of power and extra couple bullets that you have in the clip. Which brings us to question number one. Does it fit into the meta? Yes, it does. The current meta right now is to really collapse most people's builds and try to shoot them down as much as you possibly can with your weapon with C4 and explosives. That is a very popular trend right now with the game and then there's a lot, a lot of different playstyles to arise. So yes, the drum gun fits into the meta. We also answered the second question, which is what is its actual effective range? Now anything under 50 meters is where you want to be. You really want to be in that 30 to 40 meter range, which is very, very likely of a kill. Now, again, like I showed you guys before, 40 to 50 meters is a little bit out of range, and sometimes you're going to miss a lot of shots. And that is not what you want. Obviously, you want to hit as many shots as you possibly can. Now, we need to move into question number three, which is where would you have it sit in your inventory, and how is that affected? So here is an example of an inventory I would run if I were in a solo gameplay. Now I lead with the scar because the gold scar does 72 damage to the head and 70 with the purple scar. The drum gun, green rarity, will do 52 to the head and blue will do 54 to the head. So obviously there's a clear choice there with the amount of DPS that you're putting out. Now, the other reason why I do this setup is because the scar is going to put on the heavy damage. Obviously it is a higher rarity, so you would want that to be in your first slot as well as it does have the first shot accuracy, which the drum gun does not have. Even if it is late game and you think you're gonna be in a lot of close quarter battles, I honestly still would prefer to have the scar in hand because you really can't predict what situations you're going to get into unless you're very, very conscious of what your circle is looking like. So 
Scar will always be the lead for me. Now, Drum Gun as the secondary is a way to swap the weapon over and switch to something that is going to put down a lot more firepower in terms of just shots in general. Obviously, it has a 50 mag size, which is much more than the Scar, and it is going to be able to hit those builds down the way we want to. So, I'm actually going to give you guys an example of this in a second, um, but I'd like to continue to explain the different ways that I'm thinking of my setup. And then, leading off with the last weapon being a submachine gun which has the fastest fire rate you tend to be able to kind of melt the opponent if it really does come down to the very very close quarters and then once that fight is over it should give you the opportunity to go ahead and reload all three of those weapons in that time frame now again if you want to look at it from left to right then you're going to say that left has the slowest fire rate middle medium fire rate and then on the bot in the right it'll be the fastest fire rate. So that is one way to really think about how you want to run this in gun in your setup. Now, I'm going to have Keyblade go ahead and to pretend to be an actual player here in Tilted Towers. And I want you guys to see how he kind of reacts to this situation. So first shot's off, obviously the scar hits. And then I swap immediately because I know that he's going to just start building and I want to start getting that DPS as high as I possibly can. You guys will see me swap between the two weapons consistently as we're just kind of demonstrating what I would personally do in a tough situation with a good builder or an average builder or above average builder. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions in terms of the drum gun. And I hope that hits all the marks of a guide necessarily should be so did we answer all three questions yes we did question number one does it fit into the meta yes it does it is a spray down kind of weapon good and effective at close to medium range which answers question number two when is it effective and when's the best time to use it again under 50 meters and very close range and question number three where should you put it in your setup? Personally, I take it as the second slot in my setup. So hopefully this video was very informational and very informal for you guys. And hopefully it will help you improve your gameplay as well as learn how to use the drum gun. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, sub up, share around, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.